Previously, I showed you how to design many cards in a single A4 sheet as shown in the link above. In today's video, I'll guide you to design a publication, a kind of a magazine extract as shown here. Welcome once again, I'm Robert, and we'll start by creating a publication using Publisher Package. We will insert text boxes in pasteboard for each block of text for independent editing. These blocks are the one I'm cycling or even underlining. The same applies to the two columns section. Insert a text box, type the text and apply two columns as I'm doing right now. Highlight the text box and under text box ribbon choose two columns and then continue typing and the column will be automatically applied. For the numbering, choose numbering and then keep on typing. When you press enter key, the second number will automatically be inserted and so on and so on. In case you no longer need this numbering, once the third or the second number is inserted, just press backspace key and it will be removed. insert uh, flowers as bullets select one of the bullets and then go to character search it here under symbols and you'll get the flower here click ok adjust the indent and then ok keep on typing so inside the dotted bullets you see the same procedure To insert the table, go to Insert tab and select a table made up of 7 rows and 3 columns. Populate the table. Factors to consider when selecting a software, that is our last section, therefore we are going to insert a text box apply formatting features for example the first line that is the heading requires bolding underlining and center alignment but for the others they just require a left alignment with subtitles such as authenticity compatibility user friendliness being bolded having done with all these text boxes it is time to insert the black in white uh, pattern borders as I'm going to show you. Insert tab, go to borders and accent and get uh, this pattern. In case you can't see it, go to more borders and accent and you'll get it right here. Just try to scroll downwards and you'll find it at the bottom patterns. Just the length and the width to fit the margins as shown here. and paste to the bottom to create another duplicate. The same applies to the right margin and also the left margin. Copy and paste it. Now insert or drag the text boxes inside the pattern borders and try to adjust it appear like the one in the publication or in the question paper by applying different formatting styles, transformations such as rotation and even resizing where necessary.
bring the software text box forward and that will make it visible. Drag the table to its appropriate location. Resize its column and apply inline and outline borders to make its rows and columns visible. Like you can see here it is not visible. So select all of the cells and then go to table uh, yeah, time and select all borders and it will be applied. You can select a black color, select the bo all borders again to remove them and select again to add them. Let us go to print view to see whether it is visible. Yeah, right, suppose it's visible. So let's go back and insert or drag the last section to the bottom of the page. Perform necessary adjustments such as uh, adjusting the text boxes, dragging the text boxes to the required place, and even uh, changing the font size maybe to make them more readable to the user. Now that's what I'm doing right now. You can also check something like a paragraph a height or line spacing, that's what I mean. Yeah. We can, you can use the arrow keys to uh, move this your selected uh, section as I'm doing here. Finalize this by inserting the required graphics, and the best way of inserting graphics is usage of the picture placeholder and position it where it is required. Resize again. Let's get another placeholder from insert picture placeholder and take it where it is required to be. Now you can click just the picture placeholder and apply some borders, like we need dashes. Likewise to the first one here, you also need dashes. And again, to get a picture, you just click inside the placeholder and work offline or online, depending on where your pictures are. Pick one of the pictures and insert. The same applies to the other one here. Click inside the placeholder and get a picture from your computer or even online. And that's all you're required to do in this practical. Actually, hitting the like button is just like saying a short prayer for me. Do it it now to get the pdf just check from the video's description and download it otherwise if it's your first time to visit the channel please subscribe and even you can share your thoughts on the video through these comments